Alright everybody, welcome back to Atomic Society. So today, we just colonized in the previous episode the canyons. Now I want to build one on an iceberg. I feel like that could be really cool. Let's see how it goes. Now, starting up, this is a very pre-alpha build right now, so there isn't as much content. Oh my, we're on these like giant cliffs. Let's see, where do we want to build our base? Up there looks good. Okay, so we're going to select our dude. Which is, his name is Leroy. Last name, J -J 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 Jenkins. And he... Sometimes the ground is just like too derpy to climb up. But not right now. Alright, so what I want this guy to do is I want him to convert this into a storehouse. Now, all the townspeople, all, what is it? 58 of them are going to come up here. Now, they're probably going to die. But once this guy's finished completing it... We're going to have a few builders, I believe. Yeah, builders, four out of four. But they're not helping right now. Lame. Let's call this I Iceberg. That's the name of our town. Good old Iceberg. Now we're going to salvage this. And we're going to let that guy do it. Now, when he's done, I'm going to have him come back and drop off everything at this building. Drop off the resources, buddy. And then once that's done, we can create a scavenger's hut. Where is it? Here it is. Oh, we got the resources now. We're going to put the scavenger hut like here. Now we're going to have you help in that endeavor. Now where are my people? Finally my people are getting here. Look how slow they're working, man. They don't really want to survive. This whole town so far, day 13 of being lost in the wilderness, one guy has done his work, everybody else has been lame. Look at that, people are already dying as a result. It's like, how do you do it quicker? I don't really know. But we need to put, we need to give them water, and then we need to give them sanitation. There's a lot to be done. And look, the, the cold wilderness of this iceberg, people are just dropping like flies. We've lost nine people so far. Alright, let's go ahead and hire the workers, get that going. All right, now let's go ahead and build a well. There we rain collect water well. We're gonna put a well here. We're gonna have our guy assist in that endeavor. See, right now you've got like four builders, right? And then you've got your main guy, and he's Mr. Superman. He's basically keeping this settlement alive. So I would like these guys. Are these guys going out to work? Let's see. Are you guys going out to work? Yeah, see that? You could you could scavenge that, guys. I think they are. All right, so let's go ahead. Once this is done, we'll just speed it up. Because we got to get a lot of stuff done. I'm going to build... Um, let's build a greenhouse. Get some food. And we'll hire the workers for the well. Then once this is done, we'll hire the workers for the food. Then we got to start building latrines. And I think once we have water and food and basic sanitation we need to work on houses maybe there's a lot you have to do now one of the things that this needs this game needs is like an opposition right look the bodies are just dying it's like why i, I guess it's because they're exposed to the elements now i guess what we could do is build a workers here it is a builder's yard Let's build a builder's yard. Then I could get help. See, and then that's another thing. I don't know why some buildings you can't build in certain places. Alright, how are my scavengers doing? How's the storehouse? Here's the storehouse. See, I wanna I wanna see how much storage it has. But instead, it's not letting me do that. So it's day 35, the first year. We're at 39 people. All storehouses are full. Let's go ahead and hire a few more workers. Let's get another storehouse. And we'll put that... Uh, yeah, might as well just put it close to everything else. I mean, I really don't know... Look at this. We're down to 40 people. Now, you'll notice people are going to start coming from the wilderness. Let's see, do we see anybody? They might start down here. Yeah, here we go. Here's a few people now. Hello, friends. Welcome to my iceberg. So we should have water and food, but for some reason... Alright, let's slow it down just a bit. 
Um, I think it's time to get some uh, a latrine. What do you? Why? Why can't I build it? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Here we go. You want to build a latrine on the mountains? Cause you can do that. Wow, it takes four people to work a latrine? That's interesting. All right, so you'll notice the water and food bars are finally going up. Happiness is low. Let's go ahead and build some, a luxury house. Capacity 10 people and capacity five people. Oh, we need, we need this because it, it holds the most people. And we'll put this one Definitely some weird things with the UI in this pre-alpha state, but I feel like if they gave you an opposition, if they gave you raiders to fight, that could be a lot of fun. Now, with all the dead bodies, I think it's time to build another latrine. We'll put it, put it like over here. Speed things up again. But basically, you know, surviving on this iceberg here, is pretty freaking slow going. We only got 41 people. We started out with what? Probably close to 60? And just these dead bodies everywhere. Let's go ahead and build a crematory. And I want to put the crematory a little further out. Here we go. Oh yeah, so it's like, welcome to our town. The first thing you see is a crematory. And I don't want the crematory near the house. I will put the crematory on the cliff. It's got the nicest view in all the town. Because there's just rotting bodies everywhere. This was another thing that happened in our last build that I was not entirely sure, like, is this just the way of things? Now, I need to be able to check my stats. Here we go. Here's the store. Here's the info. Hold on. Um, we'll hire the workers to work the crematory. Let's go to options and then controls and then how do we see our stats? Because that's the thing we're looking to right now. Oh, that's nice. Teleport to home. Decrease game screen. Open town hall menu. That's got to be it. So we'll resume it. Oh, we haven't built a town hall. So of course not. Let's build a town hall. A hospital would be nice. First aid tent, simple medical tent. Let's get, we're getting a freaking hospital, guys. I want it, I want it to, yeah, we'll put it there. <coughs> Excuse me, so after this hospital, yeah, that's another thing, I'm sick right now. Really unfortunate. Oh, in the town hall we can kind of put anywhere. I'm gonna put it nice and central. Look at that, four more people are coming in. Maybe another builder's hut? Let's see, because we should have eight workers out there. I'm going to go ahead and build another worker's tent, or worker's center, builder's yard. There we go. Yep, the hospital should be able to keep people from dying, I hope. We should get another latrine as well. Latrine. And we'll put it... The, the advice in the last episode was to scatter them around. Actually, that's the latrine, right? No, we've got two so far. So I'd say we're doing pretty well. Why isn't this being built? Is it because we're low on resources? We wouldn't have been able to build it if we were low on resources. Look at all these people, dude. There's just convoys and convoys of people. I wonder if we can convert... We can scrap that. I wonder if we could convert another one to... Like, what can we do with this? Salvage the structure for resources. We should have salvagers automatically going out there. Look at that. So one of these stops, so we only have enough, which is this extra builder's yard will be helpful. See, now we're down to 44. I think we need more houses, but to get that and maintain progress, oh my gosh, I'm so nasally right now, is uh, we're going to have to, let's see, hire the workers for the builder's yard. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and how's food? Food's doing pretty good. I want some more basic shacks. I want to put one on the cliff. You're going to have a real nice view. All right, this is done. What is this? A town hall? Yeah! 
Now we can press T, stats. Current population's at 57, died since start 64. Two engineers are remaining. Huh, how do we get more engineers? Poor issues, dehydrated citizens of two, unemployed citizens, homeless citizens, that's the big one, and plague. So we need to address our housing situation. So let's go ahead and build a lot of houses. Look, someone died right out front of the house. And then we'll build another house. Man, this is some ominous music. We'll put one here. So we have two builder's yards, right? Look at them. Stop dying outside. Go inside. Get some help. Alright. Unemployed citizens, homeless citizens. We just need more homes. We're gonna build shacks for everybody. This is gonna be a budding metropolis. Yeah, just so many rotting bodies. Is this crematory? This crematory should be working overtime right now. I want to see them actually drag a body. Treatment capacity, employees. Like, what are you doing? Are you unwell? The citizen is sick or wounded and their health bar is decreasing. All right, we probably need some more hospitals. This is a very tricky game to like, serves three per day. Six visitors at once. We could put a first aid tent on the far side. Where's the hospital again? I think that might be it. Luckily, our leader isn't going to die. Alright, so we're going to build a first aid tent over here. Oh, look at all these people. So we're at 68 out of 200. So once we get to 200, it's like, what? What could we do? I guess we could continue to spread out. This actually would have been a nice area because look at all these buildings around there. Lots of scavenging opportunities and lots of flat land. We kind of built on this higher step. So, I mean, if you were thinking real life, we would get hit with wind, I think probably worse by being high up. It probably would have been better to be like build there if this was real life. But this is a video game, guys. This is video game. All right, first aid tent. Uh, this is another first aid tent. Let's go ahead and build a... Wow. We could build some of these. We have some shacks. Now let's build some nicer houses, right? Go ahead and hire the workers for the first aid tent. Let's see. We're going to go ahead and hit the stats again. Our homeless citizens are going down. Unemployed is still high. Maybe if they're outside and just sitting out there. Now, this was happening even when we were in the desert. It's not like the cold is actually affecting the game right now, to my knowledge. My gosh, I'm nasally. But I've got a cough drop in and I've got this like vitamin C water drink. So it's like, even though I'm, I feel sick, like it's, it's keeping the cough at bay. 57% happiness. Gloomy citizens. Well, you guys better stop being so depressed and get back to work. So how's food and water? We're gonna build another tenement. We're gonna build it over here. We put the shacks on the cliff side. Uh, now I think it's time to get some more water. A water well. We'll put one over here. Right next to that shack. Alright, we'll have our, our main guy help with that. We're on day 139. A little over what? A third of a year? It was 365. Yeah, then about like... 120 something would be a third of that. Dude, so many dead bodies. Why isn't the crematory? Is this the crematory? Oh, yeah, that's the crematory. What's this? That's the hospital. So let's go to the info. Crematory requires four workers. Burning dead bodies instead of letting them rot helps keep your town disease free. We probably need another crematory. Let's go ahead and get one of those. What's that weird noise, huh? Should we put it? It'd be cool to put, be able to put crematories on these cliffs. But the, I don't know what the deal is with regards to like why I can't build. Wow, I can't build this anywhere. Putting us too close. Oh, oh, but we can build it out there. Okay, whatever. All right, now we gotta hire these people. This is a water well. 
go ahead and check our stats. Homeless Citizens is 14. We still got a lot of unemployed. Let's go ahead and get a... Get one of these. Another tenement. I wonder if we just need another builder's thing. I think we should get one. Another builder's yard would be good. That's a builder's yard. That's a builder's yard. We'll put it out here. So it can expand. Yeah, but like, where are these builders? Here comes one and two. What's this guy on the cliff? Don't do it! Don't do it, Jimmy! Jimmy, you're okay. People love you, Jimmy. But if you do jump, I mean, we've got a lot more people that could take your place. I, I, I don't want to make it seem like we don't need you. We want you. But I guess the truth is we don't need you. I'm going to build another water well. I can't wait till this builder yard is done. It's it the city management games for me. It's always like it almost seems like you just there. Where's the sustainability, right? Like at what level are you sustainable so you don't need more people? And then because you're getting more people, you need to get more food. And because you got more food, you know you do whatever. And then it's just like this endless cycle of just kind of like three factors. Ooh, it's a crematory. All right, crematory is built. This thing's about to be built, which will give us more builders. Let's go ahead and check stats. Unemployed citizens still at 15. I mean, so many are pouring in, it's like... I, I guess it's just a matter of getting to 200 and maintaining that. Are these people actually walking away? They're like, oh, it's full. We're gonna go disappear to this lighthouse. And by lighthouse, I mean a magic lamp. Wait real quick, I kind of cough. Man, I, I've been I've been nuking my nose with nasal spray. All storehouses are full. Hey, I didn't even I didn't even crew this one. Oh, it's a it's a house. That's why. All right, we're gonna need a new storehouse. We'll put it over here. This was actually converted to a storehouse. I think I might want some more food. So let's get a livestock ranch. We'll put it over here. And then I also want to slowly expand out here. We got build. Jeez, dude. Like, someone explain to me why, why on earth there's so many dead bodies when, like, everything seems to be going up other than happiness. So let's work on that. Let's build a tavern. We'll put the tavern, if we can, in the middle of town. Oh! Put the tavern on the cliff. Yeah. Sickness. In sickness and in health, I will run this YouTube channel, guys. You got me word on it. I think we might need another crematory. How many people are dead? Like, how many crematories do I really need? I want to put another hospital. I think we have two hospitals, two first aid tents. But if they can only see like a certain amount per day. <laughs> Can you imagine? Like the happiness would not be 57% if you were literally walking around and everybody was dead. Like truly. Ooh, the tavern though. Let's let's go build something else that's happy. How about a chapel? We'll put the chapel. Come on, let me let me build it over here. Ooh. Put the chapel over there. And then what was the other happiness thing? A theater. <laughs> like, how funny is that? It'd be really cool if we could put it on the cliff side here. Here we go. And we're gonna rotate it so the people have a view of the expanse of nothingness. All right, we'll send that guy over there. Now, what was this again? I think this was a hospital. Oh wait, so that means this is my hospital. Treatment capacity, two out of six. Yeah, I think I think these hospitals and these first aid tents will definitely help. Hopefully alleviate things. Happiness should be going up. Let's check the stats. Homeless citizen is still at 19. Plagued is at 17. Diuretic. Culture critics. Ha! <laughs> culture critics. There's no more culture critics because we just built a theater. Eat that, you little hippies. 
well, Baron, I realize that this is, you know, the post-apocalyptic wasteland of an iceberg, but I really think we should be having a weekly play. Yeah, people are dead everywhere, but think about it. We need to play some Romeo and Juliet. It'll really make people stop dying. Oh, there we go. We get more people. Now let's build some houses for them. Restores 100 shelter per rest period. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. We'll put some luxury homes out here. I, I am so annoyed by my, my congestion right now. I cannot breathe out of my nostrils. So it's like, <sighs> I've got to talk and I've got to, like, uh, breathe <laughs> out of my mouth. Yeah, fun dimes. Ooh, you know what? Let's put some luxury homes next to the theater. They're so hot right now. Hansel is so hot right now. All right, let's get another one. We're just gonna get another one, another luxury house. It's gonna be. This is gonna be. This is gonna be the hip place to live, guys. You really want to live here. But happiness is still at fifty-eight percent. Now, is that just because this is alpha? Do, do people? Do you think that people? Ooh, happiness was at sixty percent for a second. Let's get some more food. We'll put another greenhouse. I feel like. Sustainability. Now, do we want? Where do we want it? How about? Oh, on the hill? Nah, we'll have it at the base of the hill. Oh wait, wait, wait. Can I cancel that? Yeah, I don't want to put it there. I'm gonna put a luxury house there. We'll put it. If I can put it on this hill, yeah. Perfect, perfect, guys. Send our guy over there to start building it. We might need more workers. Let's go ahead and check. Unemployed citizens are only at three, but we still have a lot of homeless guys. Excuse me. We're going to build a basic shack to kind of get a lot of people. Can we put it on? Ooh, yeah. All right, how's this going? Crematory. There are less bodies on the ground, actually, now. And we're at 93. Things are going up. Go ahead and hire people here. Yeah, you can see that the amount of people that are coming in, our people are staying alive. I feel like we're getting close to sustainability, which is really the goal of this game, is it not? I want another livestock ranch. We'll put it, I don't want to put the livestock ranch near the luxury homes, you know. They need to appreciate in their value. That was a shack, right? Okay, let's go ahead and build another luxury home. I want to... Ooh, I can fit it there, I think. See, isn't that weird? <laughs> it's lawn is facing that way. They, they don't really have... their The front of their house isn't necessarily facing this beautiful cliffside. Look at this view, guys. This is... You want to live here. And you, too, can live here with a nice view of the endless waste of the Antarctic. Where do you think this iceberg is? Is it in the fjords of Norway? Is it in Iceland? Is it in Greenland? Antarctica? Maybe the North Pole. Although the North Pole doesn't have land mass necessarily. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is somewhere in the Iceland and Greenland area. And that's a huge area. Yes, I'm fully aware. Yeah, we're off Greenland, guys. That's definitely where we are. The US government ferried a lot of people by AC-130 transport planes. Let's get another water well. I'm gonna put it, spread them out. Oh, you know what we need is more latrines. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? We need to spread these latrines out. I'm gonna put it here. Definitely latrines would help with death. Like minimizing death, I mean. All right, where should we put this one? I'm gonna put it over here when I can. Boom, right next to the greenhouse because when people poop, we're gonna use their poop to grow our plants. I mean, is it not genius? Is it not freaking genius? Let's go with... Um... A ta we have a town hall. Scavenger hut, builder's yard, crematory, storehouse. Could put another storage yard over here. What do you think of this, guys? Do you think we're doing better than we were the first time? Homeless citizens are low, unemployed. Plague citizens, hopefully... We just need, look at that, the number's going down. We probably need another freaking hospital. 
Let's go ahead and check the medicine. I could put another first aid tent. Where's the most recent first aid tent? Right here. And then there's a hospital. So a nice first aid tent over there. I don't want to send my guy over there. We're probably going to need another builder's thing. Let's see. How many unemployed citizens? Uh, 17. No, 14. 13-ish. Oh, here we go. Make that 14. Because we just hired him for the water well. All right, let's have our dude help out. Oh, people dying next to the livestock. All storehouses full. Build or convert one. Now, we're not near a building where I can just convert, so we're going to have to build a new one. Isn't this a storehouse? Yeah, that's a storehouse. And I'm going to put scavengers over here, so hopefully they go out this way and they're efficient. Look at that. That's a. This is probably a scavenger. Let's take a look. Hello. Sir. Can I, can I see who you are? No, I cannot. All storehouses are full, Baron. Jeez. 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 How many unemployed? About 10. Attempt to deposit all resources into this storehouse. I'm going to go ahead and build some scavengers. But clearly, we're going to do some serious expansion. So we're going to want it, you know? And then I'm going to put a little medical tent over here, too. For first, actually, yeah. They need a latrine. They need, they need to go to the bathroom when they come back. You know, because they can't just, you know, you do their bodily functions out in the wilderness. All right, so what's the issue? Number of citizen builders is 12. Number of adults, 65. We've got elderly, so some people are just going to die from age. We have one old citizen. <laughs> That's funny. Critically unwell, only one. Starving? We've got dehydration and some starvation. We're going to start building over here now. We've expanded pretty well out there. We're going to build some more houses over in this area. Let's go ahead and do some basic shacks because they definitely hold a lot more people. What is this, a builder's yard? Cause scavenger's hut. That was a latrine? Yeah, that was a latrine. Okay. Now we're going to build a first aid tent right next to it hopefully we got creepy people coming in from everywhere think about all the people that we coming in we would need a screening process let's go ahead and see what are the issues psychopathic murders have taken innocent lives now it's time to build the prison which is what we did in the last one so it's about time we build a punishment center oh dude yeah that, that's where you if you want to kill people where should we put the prison i want it like out in the middle of nowhere yeah we're gonna put it here in the hills so what is this again? I think that's a house. We'll keep our, our manager, our mayor. Wow, sorry about that, guys, but it was just bad. It's like congestion is one of the worst, you know, things with regards to trying to breathe and talk at the same time. It's not ideal. All right, now we've got a first aid tent. We've got a scavenger. we got a storehouse. It's time to build some more food. Yeah, but see, so overall, let's build some artwork. We're gonna build some freaking artwork. I mean, why not? Maybe that'll help with happiness. All storehouses are full. We are just like, we're gonna build a rusty statue in the center of town on that cliff. Let's go ahead and build some more houses, maybe? Yeah, but see, at this point, it's like we, we're kinda at 134, so we could go for the objective of getting the 200 people. Ooh, look at that. We should build some nice luxury homes there. See, look at this. I'm thinking like a realtor in the in the post-apocalyptic wilderness. I guess we should face it that way. That makes more sense. And how's everything else going? This is... The prison's being finished. Look at that. That's weird, huh? It kind of goes away. All right. This is almost done. Once it is, we can go ahead and press T to get to our town hall. We can set the policy of if we have murders, we're going to arrest the people. All right, so. What? Oh, here we go. Let's go ahead with, uh, sh if it's murder, we're going to do a long prison sentence. There we go. 
And right now in this alpha state, there's only one issue, but you can see a lot of dead bodies popping up. Maybe another crematory is necessary. But so it's just kind of like, at this point in the game, I, I can't help but feel that we're just doing the same thing. We're just doing more of it. We're going to put a crematory next to the prison so they know if they screw up, we will kill them. We will execute them, and then we will burn their bodies into the air. Or we could use their bodies to maybe, you know, grow some more food. Anyway, guys, my congestion is getting terrible right now. I think, let me know, you know, let me know in the comments. Fallotopia, we don't want to save a Fallotopia. I, Spurg, Spurg, let's go ahead and save your game. So that's gonna be taking place. All right, let me know what we could do in this game or any ideas if we could maybe get another episode out of it. If not, we'll just wait for the next update, whatever that would be. What I've been told is that this game has been in development since 2014. So what do you guys think about the second gameplay? I think we definitely did improve a little bit more. Anyway guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next episode.